One of the biggest lies of the EV evangelists and our deluded governments is that the power grid will magically cope with the massive increase in demand caused by EV charging. Only politicians who know nothing about science or engineering can believe that a countrywide network of fast charging stations, each pulling as much power as a small suburb, will somehow just be absorbed by the grid. This is complete nonsense. And before we even consider EVs, there are other huge increases in the demand for electricity from other sources, all arriving at the same time. Primarily, this is the rise of massive data centres to provide the cloud services which everyone uses now, and which need vast amounts of juice to cool all the server infrastructure. And even the journalists at the extreme green Washington Post have been forced to notice this fact. And when they notice something like this, you can be pretty sure it's a problem. Welcome back to MGuy, British engineer and lawyer turned Sydney YouTuber. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop a comment down below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter X. I will link to a PDF of the article in the video description and I thoroughly recommend you read the whole thing. But the scale of this problem is not something that can be easily swept under the carpet by the evangelists. Amid explosive demand, America is running out of power. AI and the boom in cleantech manufacturing are pushing America's power grid to the brink. Utilities can't keep up. Vast swathes of the United States are at risk of running short of power as electricity-hungry data centers and clean technology factories proliferate around the country, leaving utilities and regulators grasping for credible plans to expand the nation's creaking power grid. In Georgia, demand for industrial power is surging to record highs, with the projection of new electricity use for the next decade now 17 times what it was only recently. Arizona Public Service, the largest utility in that state, is also struggling to keep up, projecting it will be out of transmission capacity before the end of the decade, absent major upgrades. Northern Virginia needs the equivalent of several large nuclear power plants to serve all the new data centers planned and under construction. Texas, where electricity shortages are already routine on hot summer days, faces the same dilemma. The soaring demand is touching off a scramble to try to squeeze more juice out of an aging power grid while pushing commercial customers to go to extraordinary lengths to lock down energy sources, such as building their own power plants. When you look at the numbers, it is staggering, said Jason Shaw, chairman of the Georgia Public Service Commission, which regulates electricity. It makes you scratch your head and wonder how we ended up in this situation. How were the projections that far off? This has created a challenge like we have never seen before. A major factor behind the skyrocketing demand is the rapid innovation in artificial intelligence, which is driving the construction of large warehouses of computing infrastructure that require exponentially more power than traditional data centers. AI is also part of a huge scale-up of cloud computing. Tech firms like Amazon, Apple, Google, Meta and Microsoft are scouring the nation for sites for new data centers and many lesser-known firms are also on the hunt. But the most extraordinary thing about this article is that EVs are barely even mentioned. Whether it's because the Washington Post doesn't want to call out the problem with EV infrastructure to protect its green credentials or not, all of the strains on the grid being discussed in the article are essentially glossing over the additional huge demand of a fully electrified vehicle fleet. So anyone that continues to push the lie that grids can cope with the transition to EVs is either willfully blind to the reality or just plain ignorant.